Georgetown is an amazing community, full of history and picturesque beauty. While our visitors provide us with a phenomenal tourism economy, we also understand that we need a balanced economy. In 2013, I was very excited to be a part of the first ever startup weekend in the state of South Carolina, yet another piece of Georgetown history. As we got closer to the event, we had a horrible downtown fire that impacted the event venue, uh, and we had to scramble at the last second. But what we saw out of that is the entrepreneurial spirit that exists in this community. We had tremendous community support in helping us relocate to a different venue. The event did proceed without a hitch, and we were very happy uh, for Georgetown to be the home of the first startup weekend. The need for a startup incubator became apparent while I was running a co-working space in Myrtle Beach. We had several tech entrepreneurs working out of our space and they needed more than just space. They wanted help building and scaling their startups. We ran South Carolina's first ever startup weekend, which was a great success. And building off that momentum, we applied for a grant to start our incubator, startup.sc. The South Carolina Commerce Department awarded us $250,000 and we were empowered to hire our executive director, Ryan Smith, and our community builder, Maria Yerman, and take it to the next level. Because it was a matching grant, we also had to find those funds before there was any money in the bank. So we set out to communicate our vision to the public and get the people involved that we wanted to be part of our community. Because the concept of being a hub for technology startups was such a new approach to economic development in this area, we needed to figure out how to communicate the value of a startup community. Uh, I was hired to film the first Entrepreneur Pitch Night in November of 2014, and there was about 65 people there, including entrepreneurs, investors, mentors, and business students from Coastal Carolina University. Uh, using the footage from that event, we were able to show the community exactly what we're doing and what kind of impact it could have in a visual way, and the community responded. Uh, our second pitch night was just two months later, and attendance was twice what it was at the first one. So we're seeing that the more people hear about positive moves happening in the startup community here, the more receptive this area becomes to making it a priority. We selected our second cohort of entrepreneurs and got to work on helping turn their ideas into scalable startups. We had 10 companies working out of a really small room, so we knew it was time to renovate a larger space in Georgetown. There were a lot of big moves made in that really small room, but we were growing and we knew it was time to expand. Over time, our enthusiasm and drive started to make waves and donors started to see value in what we were doing. People started to see the type of impact that building a tech startup community could have here on the Grand Strand. When we talk about impact, we talk about creating economic diversity and creating high paying year round jobs in an area where it's traditionally been known as a seasonal economy. This also has an impact on local college graduates looking for professional development opportunities. Our goal here is not only to provide a sustainable form of economic development, but to create professional development opportunities for local college graduates to keep that talent here so that they can contribute to the knowledge economy on the Grand Strand. In the near future, we see the Grand Strand developing into a place where people come from all over the world to live the beach lifestyle and grow their startup. When we look around and see how this community has grown over the past year with a modest amount of resources, we can't help but imagine what we could accomplish with more support. If we could provide more education to entrepreneurs and tech talent, if we could provide seed stage funding to help them develop and market their businesses. If we could continue to cultivate relationships with like-minded problem solvers within our community. If we could get our message to more investors, mentors, and entrepreneurs, it is completely possible to trade in their cubicle for a beach towel. We think the possibilities are endless. We are destroying the wall in preparation for renovations, and uh, we're going to get started with a bang. Ha, 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 ha!